Hi, this is Annette from MoneySmartFamily.com and today we're going to show you how to make delicious, savory, tasty beef stew. So as you can see here, I've cut up all my ingredients and I'm, I'm going to add them to the crock pot and mix them in. This is a great recipe that you can make in the morning and have it cook all day and then thicken the gravy and eat at dinner time. This is two pounds of bottom round roast beef. This is three large potatoes. This is five carrots cut up. And this is one onion. Everything is in the crock pot and now I'm stirring it up just to see if I have a good balance of ingredients. I have one more pound of beef standing by in case I need it, and I have some garlic that I haven't put in, chopped up and put in yet, and the broth. This looks perfect. Now, I am going to add four cups of water, to which I have added four beef bouillon cubes. All the ingredients will give off some juice while they're cooking, so I don't need to worry about getting the perfect amount. That looks absolutely perfect. And then the secret to a terrific beef stew is bay leaves. So here is my spice jar with bay leaves and I'm going to grab three large bay leaves and I'm going to cut them in half then I'm going to mix them in. Perfect. They give it such a great flavor while it's cooking. Okay, this is an old crock pot, so I'm gonna put it on high. Okay, we will be back in about six hours to see what this delicious beef stew looks like and to thicken the gravy. Okay, the stew has been cooking all day on high because the crock pot is so full, it needed to be on high to cook everything. So what you're gonna see me do now is thicken the gravy. I'm taking two heaping tablespoons, uh, that one wasn't so heaping, of um, cornstarch. Now I'm gonna add some water, just enough to moisten it and get it to melt because you don't want to, to add too much water because that will cool down the temperature and you need it hot to thicken it. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add kitchen bouquet. And they're not paying me to say this. And I started using this in my um, beef recipes, and it is delicious. What it is really it, what does. does it, do? it adds a flavoring, and I don't know how. It just makes it richer, and um, it's not just coloring, but it, there is a flavor to it. I'm just stirring up the cornstarch to get it real smooth and slick, and in it goes. Hopefully it will thicken right up to be this, this, oh, delicious gravy. I'm going to stir it. I may need some more cornstarch. I'm seeing it thicken. This is one delicious winter meal. Okay, so I got to add a little bit more. Maybe one more heaping tablespoon. Add some water. I know I do this by feel. I should have it all measured, but I don't. And here we go, the final. Oh, perfect. Oh, you can see that being so thick. The final ingredient is the green beans, and I should have added these before I thickened the gravy, but I forgot them. So I'm adding them now. I've defrosted them. They were frozen. So normally when I cook this, I don't put the green beans in at the start because they cook too fast and then they don't look good and they kind of break down. So I usually wait till like an hour before I'm going to serve it to add the green beans near the end of the day. 
This is one delicious bowl of beef stew, perfect for a cool winter day. We hope you enjoy this beef stew recipe. You can get a lot more recipes at MoneySmartFamily.com slash recipes. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and watch this playlist for more delicious recipes too.